be overthrown. So that is a Barack complete Obama misreading. Was... I'll stop you there for a second, then I'm going to let you continue. But that is a complete misreading of critical race theory. As you know, that's an actual theory, and you could Google it, and someone would give you a good definition of it. So that's not well, correct. Well, in what way going. is it? In what way is it a critical misreading? Can well, you explain to me? No, do you know what critical? I'm, explain to your readers what critical race theory is. Explain I'm going to ask you to continue on. I'm just going to point out that that is inaccurate. Keep going. Tell me what the bombshell is. I, I haven't well, seen it. Well, wait a minute. You've made a claim. You made a claim that my characterization of critical race theory as the opposite of Martin Luther King is inaccurate. You're telling your viewers that, but you're not telling Critical them what it is. Critical race theory Critical looks into the mm -hmm. intersection of race and politics and the law. And as a legal academic who would study this and write about it, he would advance the theory about what exactly happened when the law was uh, examined in terms of racial politics. There is no white supremacy in that. It is a theory. It's an academic theory. And as one of the leading academics at Harvard Law School, he was one of the people as part of that conversation. So that is a short uh, I'm, I'm definition glad, of I'm it I'm glad now. we've got you. <laughs> I'm now, glad we've got you on. saying that on tape because that's a complete misrepresentation. Critical race theory is all about white supremacy. Critical race theory holds that civil rights laws are ineffective, that racial equality is impossible because the legal and constitutional system in America is What I just said, the intersection of supremacy. race and politics uh, when it comes no, to but you the said law, white but, supremacy but not is not part of it. I'm trying you to said, figure out what's the bombshell. No, show. this is critical. Get back this on track. is critical. What's this the is show? critical. It's not critical. What's this the bombshell? This is critical. You can't derail this, Soledad. White supremacy is the heart of critical race theory, and Obama knew it. And by the time Obama embraced him at Harvard Law School, Derek Bell had already given a speech in Chicago just two months before that caused a sensation, which was about how white supremacy was still the order of the day and that black people were fooling themselves if they thought civil rights and equality were achievable goals. He said this, and one of the people who came to his defense, by the way, was Jeremiah Wright, so with whom Bell had so correspondence so are, over is the years. Your this point, is, is your a point, connection you, that is very important. So your point, you're trying to make the point that Derek Bell was somehow a, a, a serious radical. Is that what you're trying to say? And by connecting... President Obama to Derrick Bell, a Harvard Law student, to a Harvard Law professor, the first black tenured professor at Harvard Law School. You're trying to make that connection. Is that the bombshell? Don't believe me. Believe Henry Louis Gates Jr., who said that Derrick Bell had a blind spot for anti-Semitism. Don't believe me. Believe one of Derrick Bell's there are fellow plenty African American people who colleagues debated at Harvard. There are plenty of people who debated uh, that theory. There's no question about it. But if your point, if your bombshell is that 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 Derek Bell is a, a radical? Is that is that what you're trying to say? I'm I'm just trying to understand what the bombshell is because I haven't seen a bombshell yet. The bombshell is happening. The bombshell is happening right here on this program where we've got a story and you're not interested in telling your viewers who Derek Bell actually is. You want to come in and obfuscate and tell me that I don't know what critical race theory is, that white supremacy has nothing to do with it, that Barack Obama is just embracing a guy. This is about Barack Obama's connection to a radical legal theory that he didn't just embrace when he was a student at Harvard. When he was a teacher at the University of Chicago, he forced his students to read Derrick Bell, including some of the most inflammatory <laughs> a lot readings, of law students as part of his read course Bell. on race it's and law. It's part of the... Uh, you, you really do not understand critical race theory, um, number one. Can I say something as a white person? <laughs> what, what are you frightened of? I don't are know. You, I are, you, are you frightened that some uh, black people are going to do something to you? You have a group of individuals. Uh, if you and I were black, we would be madder in hell, but we're not. And so we are white people. There are more white people than black people. And so there's a struggle that's been going on. And so in, in, the, in a struggle, you, you talk about a lot of things. There's, there's anger. There's, there's resentment. And so what, what are you frightened of? What do you think Barack Obama is going to do? He's gonna, is there a secret black movement that's going to start killing white people? What are you talking about? As a white guy. I'm glad that you I'm glad you played the racism card. You've accused me of being a racist. White. I'm and let accused me of being white. That's all I've accused you of. No, you've accused me of being bl afraid of black people, and, and it doesn't even deserve a response, but let me respond anyway. Sure. No, I'm not afraid that black people are going to be violent and take over the country. What I'm pointing out is that there's a pattern in Barack Obama's associations with Derrick Bell, with Reverend Wright, and carries over into his governance because his Justice Department won't treat black civil rights violators the same that it treats white civil rights violators, that there's a racial pattern in which justice is enforced in this country, and it also gives us a sense into how Barack Obama thinks about these issues. At every point in his life when he could have followed the path of Martin Luther King, 
he threw in his lot with the Jeremiah Wrights and the Derek Bells of the world. And it's important not just because of what Obama believes, but it's important to vet the media. The mainstream media covered this so up. So you want they him to take it easy in. on the white supremacist groups? That exactly. Is that the it? Is that, I mean, I'm, I'm just I, asking. I, you know, I, yeah. I mean it. I'm just. Yeah. Why asking. don't you just ask the question? Why don't you ask the question without knowing a thing about me or what I believe? This is typical mainstream media. I'm just behavior. looking at I'm your skin. That's you. all I'm looking at. I'm just talking white guy. You're to judging, white guy. So you're judging. Oh, you're judging Young me by, by the color your skin. of my yes, skin. Yes, I am. I sure am. Yeah, that's yeah. that's exactly. You know, that's exactly what Andrew Breitbart. If, if I could interject. Uh, I feel like a video of you watching. Uh,